Now we see that in the modern workplace where the demand on the employees is quite high, the, the pressure of work to deliver, especially with technology where supervision can be quite uh, overwhelming at times, it's also important for the business to show the soft side to their HR, where they also start to look after their employees' welfare, their morale, how are they feeling, uh, do they need any support, do they need any counseling, any advice. So HR, since they are the human side of the business, it's their responsibility to make sure that all the employees are in the right frame of mind when they're at work. If they are in the right frame of mind, only then would they be at their most productive. So so it's really an investment in the business when you start looking after your employees. And the HR department will do it through many ways. They will provide you financial support, for example, uh, loans on easy terms and things like that, uh, some counseling sessions, perhaps things aren't going well for you at home and you need someone to talk to, just, just let off some steam. So the HR department will provide that facility and special loans and grants. So any way through which the employees, whatever problems they're going through, if they can be listened, if they can just simply listening and trying to provide a solution, if it works for the employee, then it will eventually help the business once the employee comes back with a clear mind. So making sure that they all are in high spirits, that's always nice. Start off with a good Christmas dinner maybe. It can always be <laughs> something that employees enjoy. It will bring you increased productivity when you know that employees are feeling well, they will want to do more. And that's when the productivity, or the effectiveness of the employees start going up. And if you're there in their time of need, then they will want to reciprocate and their sense of loyalty will go up. They, they won't just leave the organization when they know that the organization was there in their time of need. It's time to give some back. And that, that's exactly what you want to, want, what you want to instill in your workforce. And once everybody is happy, fewer people leave, right? Everybody wants to achieve things together because everyone looks after one another. And HR will try to create that environment through different um, activities as well. For example, they might take people out for like a scavenger hunt. I remember one of my previous workplaces. That was a great way to make sure that everybody gets to know each other uh, away from work and just kept the morals high and then look, I, it's also fun working with these people. So that side of the labor where they feel good about being at work will also be looked at by the HR department and they will make sure that the employee morale stays high. Now another part of HRM is making sure that your employees are able to maintain a good balance between the time that they give to work and the time that they give to the rest of the things in their life. Now we know that you know with modern day and with more technology and this hybrid system since COVID, all the demand of workers on all on all levels has gone up and it, with technology you know you're able to supervise your workers more easily and things like that but it's also allowed you to make some concessions for the workers and trying to make the job a little bit easier and the HR will try to use some of these programs to make sure that the workers are able to maintain that good balance while they're ab also able to maintain their productivity now, we understand that some of the things around us have been changing, especially on the business end. Things such as there are now more 24-hour customer services. So the demand on the workers has increased. That It's not just a day job. It might also be a night job. So on that level, of course, people who would be otherwise sleeping <laughs> are now at work. So that's creating a challenge how to maintain that work-life balance. Globalization. Now, People may be, uh, let's say, living in UAE, but they may be dealing with clients in the US, and that's completely different time zones. So different hours of work every day could be challenging when you also have to look at your own things in life. Also, sometimes businesses just have super ambitious plans, right? Let's work all the time as much as we can because we want to expand. And all of this needs to much, much, much more pressure on the workers to perform, to deliver. If you don't meet the targets, then you maybe let go and nobody wants to see that eventually happen. So the workers will be obviously working as best as they can to achieve the objectives, but it, you know, it's, it's very difficult to maintain that balance if the work keeps putting you under pressure to perform. 
some businesses of course now have started adopting some of the methods that can make this making this balance rather easy and the businesses will offer different techniques different programs through which workers are able to do their own their own, their own things in their own time as well and are also able to be productive at work and one such way is remote working you know this is something that we've really seen come to the fore since the start of the covid pandemic where if you can't be at your place of work you can work from home remotely so because of you know technology and software which allows such systems to operate businesses are able to give their workers that freedom that look if you want to take care of a few things let's say you have family over from somewhere and you won't be able to come in at work then the work w- will allow the worker to maybe remotely work a couple of days of the week you can work from home the rest of the days you can come in so just giving that concession to choose when they can take off and they can still be productive by being connected remotely that's something that will allow the workers to at least maintain some work life balance another way to do it is through something called a sabbatical period yeah. now a sabbatical period is like an extended leave and this usually happens when workers are just tired of work they just need a break they're nearing burnout so they will agree with the business to that uh, look we're going for an extended vacation extended leave uh this could be for a 6 month period or even a year in some cases and the workers aren't getting paid for this period okay this they're on leave but the workers are guaranteed that you can come back to the same job whenever you're done and that will only be be offered if the employees are of real value to the business of course but once that whole period is over they come back they join back at the same position and everything continues on from there right that is what you call a sabbatical period just sort of a break stepping back from everything recharging your batteries and then coming back to work a new person a more motivated employee and of course when you're able to take that time off away from work you you try to come up with better things newer things and the business will only benefit from such a period taken off another medium through which the business provides the opportunity for maintaining this balance is called job sharing and this is where a full time job is divided among a couple of people um, so each employee let's say was a 10 hour job each employee starts work 5 hours they won't get paid for 10 hours of course they will only get paid for the amount of hours that they worked so 5 hours each but in that sense at least maybe both employees can be committed to two different places of work and trying to make more money or maybe two different skill sets could be utilized by the same business through sharing the same job amongst two people work life balance through job sharing and then finally flexible working okay yeah. now flexible working is again a contractual thing and this is uh, very close to part time employees and this is where the business asks the workers that can you give us the times in a day that you can come in and we'll fit you into our schedule and now this is something quite common in the teaching industry where you know people may be teaching in multiple institutions and they can give a couple of hours in the morning couple in the afternoon so that's where the business would really want to fit them into their schedule by offering them flexible working so that they can look at their own other interests and the other times of the day so again four very different ways through which the business would like the workers to be able to maintain that balance and it and it all has to do with having a fresh mind for the workers the more relaxed they are the more time they're able to give to their own things as well they'll be coming back to work more eager to do well for the business 